Hey everyone, this may be one of the most important concert photographers videos that I produce. Um, it hopefully will cure a lot of things like out of focus pictures, graininess, uh, dark images that are in the wrong places, places where you have just black faces and all kinds of lighting conditions. Um, hopefully it will cure or bring to, to light a little bit of um, everything to help solve those kind of problems. And that's the goal of this, this video. Uh, my name is Robert Maxfield. I've been a concert photographer in the Dallas-Fort Worth area since 1977. Uh, I've shot numerous bands for, for years. Everything on film to digital, uh, rock and roll to country music. Uh, the blues, you name it, and um, we're going to investigate what the problem is here in just a second. I'm going to get a little comfortable, but um, one of the things that we all know is Ozzy Osbourne is the Prince of Darkness. He's always going to be the Prince of Darkness. He's got the gig down real well. Nobody's going to challenge him for it and all that stuff. So what brings that up is I had a, I'm on a lot of forums on Facebook and places like that. And uh, another user asked, how do I control the darkness? And my response to her was, I don't control the darkness. What I want to do is I want to master the 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 highlights and the dynamic range that is what's most important to me so how do you master dynamic range in highlights and all that well you do it through spot metering and here's where the problem a lot of people have and they do not realize first of all a lot of people don't have a clue what uh, metering mode they're in whether they're in uh, matrix evaluative center weighted uh, spot metering or whatever but if you're not in spot metering you have an issue because you're un center weighted is probably the closest but what happens is you cannot meter off someone's face or highlights or or, or the bright areas that you're going to have in the frame so that's part of the problem but you've heard that all before so why is it is such a big deal well I spent the afternoon on the phone with Canon cameras and I've, I've dealt with Sony on this issue, and uh, I know how the Nikon works. And what it does when you spot meter, it takes a section of the frame, and it matches it not only with where the meter matches, but the focus point also matches. Okay, and I will show you how that works. The important thing here with the Nikon camera is that you are metering and focusing in the same spot. In the next frame, it will show a red dot on the frame, and that is where you're focusing and metering both at the same time. It wasn't until recently that uh, Sony, through a firmware update on most of their cameras, made it so that you could match the um, focus point and the metering point at the same time. Why is that really important? Well, the reason why is in 95% of the cases where you're focusing is the main important part of your photograph. So you want to have your meter in the same spot as your focus point. Well, that's great, except a lot of camera manufacturers don't see it that way. They don't have any idea why anybody would want that. So what happens is you'll meter off somewhere in oblivion and be focused on someplace and what you think you're getting is your focus point is where you're where you're reading no you're reading off in a dark area you're reading off in a spotlight or you're reading off in somewhere in that kind of area so that becomes a problem okay so Sony recently added matching your your focus point and your uh, metering point at the same syncing them together and that's a new, kind of a newish update to all their cameras. To illustrate this, standard set on a Sony, the blue dot would be where you're metering and the red dot would be where you're focusing. 
those are totally two different places and here is the menu location in which you make that change to correct this problem Canon does not offer this until you get to the R3 or the one uh, DX um, uh, Mark II. It doesn't offer it until you get into your high-end cameras. So that feature you're using in a lot of um, a lot of your mirrorless cameras, where you have the the eye fo auto focusing or that kind of the face auto focusing, is causing you a problem because. You may be focusing on some eye, or it may be over here, or over here, but the metering uh, is is, fo is not matching where you're focusing. So if you need to focus on my eye, you could be focusing on a cabinet, a, 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 a somewhere a curtain or someplace. It's a whole different metering value than what the main subject's going to be. So that causes a problem. You will see photographs on some of these forums where people call it modern art where they have a whole black face and there's lights all around them you can't tell who the person in the photograph is and that's improperly exposed okay you may have a picture where somebody is completely blurry and there's different lights and and that's a problem it's a lot of this can be caused uh, by the fact that you're where you're focusing is not matching what you're metering and that is the number one thing about this video. So, what you need to do is get out the instruction manual for your for your book, I mean your book for your camera and find out what kind of metering you have available to you. The Canon camera that I own here does not have any kind of spot metering at all. So, how we used to do that in the old days is somebody knew that if you took a Sekonic light meter and you metered somebody up on stage, you got that reading and then you manually set it on your camera out, out in the audience and you didn't have to worry about it. You knew you were going to be at a 60th of a second at uh, f5.6 or if it was real bright, 125th of a second at f5.6, 400 ISO film, you were done. But that's not the case today. People are relying on the high ISOs, which causes problems, causes noise, causes grain. They're relying on uh, their metering system to tell them what's right. If you're in the wrong mode, if you're in matrix or you're in um, evaluative, that's going to measure the whole entire uh, picture. So the black over here and the bright over here and all this is going to be averaged out and you're going to get the wrong exposure. Read your manual. If you don't have your manual, go to your manufacturer, look it up and see what is the best metering for you. I would tell you spot, but you need to make sure that where you're spotting is where you're focusing at the same time. If you're gonna spot on the tip of somebody's nose, you need to focus on somebody's nose. And that's why a lot of the video, that I, I mean, a lot of the, the photos I see of concert photography is terrible because exposure's wrong and focus is wrong, and all this is caused by using of the camera. And not all camera manufacturers create their spot metering and their auto-focusing systems alike. So be careful. If you find anything useful in this video, hey, press that like button. Beat up on that subscribe. We love hearing from you. Leave us comments. And uh, if you have any questions at all, do that. And we're going to keep working on this uh, subject a little bit in, here in the near future. But be careful and don't get frustrated. Know your camera good. Thank you. Bye-bye.